Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to see about ESP32. Who really want to learn about embedded applications and IoT applications, you can follow our channel for more technical contents. What is ESP32? ESP32 is nothing about serial to Wi-Fi microcontroller. It has inbuilt Wi-Fi capability. You can see this image for a sample of one ESP32 board. ESP32 has variety of boards, but here I kept a picture of ESP32 W room. Espress is a company who is manufacturing ESP32 boards. You can see this image here. You can give a power supply via USB. ESP32 is a low cost and low power system on chip microcontroller. It will not take more power when it is fully functional and the cost is also around 300 to 400 rupees of each board. It can be used for all IoT applications and embedded applications. When it is coming to specifications level of ESP32, it has dual core 32 bit microprocessor and clock frequency is up to 240 megahertz and it supports flash memory up to 16 MB. And it, this board can be used for all embedded related applications and it has inbuilt Wi-Fi also supports Bluetooth up to 3 MB base data rate. And it has a lot of GPIO but it varies by module. So based on your application, you can buy the particular ESP32 and you can use it. And the operating voltage of ESP32 is 2.2 volt to 3.6 volt. So by considering this, you can easily give the power supply or power up ESP32 from your laptop itself. So just you need USB cable just to power up the ESP32. And it has support up to 18 channels and 12 bit ADC. Operating system is Espressif IoT development framework. This is also coming from ESP32 family and Espressif family itself. And you can use free RTAS. So ESP32 can support free RTAS too. Considering the security features, it has supports all hardware encryption like AES, RSA, SHA, HMAC. Encryption is nothing about conversion of your plain text into cipher text and it also supports secure boot. So it will ensure only trusted software can run on the device and whatever the software we are keeping or whatever the saw data we are keeping it inside the flash memory, it's also completely encrypted. Consider about the power management. It has four power modes. One is active mode which will draw once up to 160 milliamps light sleep mode and deep sleep mode and hibernation mode hibernation mode is the low power draw mode in esp32 and it also has ultra low power coprocessor so it can perform task while the main processor is in deep sleep mode it will allow for very low power consumption and rtc memory also will remains powered on on deep sleep mode so you can consider now wherever the application you can use esp32 it will not take more power and also you no need to buy any external power source to power up the esp32 you can easily power up the esp32 from your laptop itself and coming to the communication protocol support for esp32 it will support the major wide variety of protocols like uart spi i2c i2s and it also can support can for automotive related applications when it is coming to ESP32 application, we can use ESP32 for smart home automation, remote sensors, all IoT related applications and it can be support of wireless communication too because it has inbuilt Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. And coming to the automation and control system, you can easily use it for robotics applications and you can use it for smart agriculture and the same time you can use ESP32 for artificial intelligence and machine learning. You can consider as an edge node. So ESP32 is one of the beautiful SOC. It available in the market with low cost and it can support of all wide variety of applications. Thanks for listening this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. If you want to share it with your friends, please share it with them. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.